Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to use IQ tree to create maximum likelihood based phylogenetic trees, then how to use fig tree to visualize those trees. Let's start with downloading IQ tree. Today I will be using the stable release. Click on download. From downloads, go on IQ tree, bin, and IQ tree. Copy this. Let's go on desktop create a new folder, let's call it IQ tree trial. This is the file that we're going to open through command. Here's our FASTA file. You can click on open vid, utter and find text edit. It's already default for me. As you can see here, I have a bunch of sequences. These are all aligned already. If you don't know how to align, click on the description of this video and go to my tutorial on how to align sequences. Let's go to the top right corner and find the terminal. This is the command screen we have. What we're gonna do is actually pretty simple. Drag the IQ tree to right here. Leave a space, type in S, and then drag your file. Then type in M, MFP. When you run this code, it's going to start analyzing your FASTA file. As you can see in the background, now we have a bunch of files. But the most important part is going to be in the terminal screen. Let's scroll up a little bit. We are looking for this best fit model. Let's copy this. The first analysis we did was to figure out what would be the best algorithm to create phylogenetic tree for this specific FASTA file. Now again, we're going to repeat this process. Drag the IQ tree, leave a space, write down S, find the FASTA file, drag it down as well, and then go M. Now paste the method, and then type in BB1000. Now BB stands for bootstrapping, and then the 1000 stands for how many replicates will it have. To create a rapid bootstrap value, we're going to be using 1000. The higher this number, the better it is. If you're going to be using this in a scientific article, you should be hitting at least 100,000. For this video, I'm only going to focus on 1000. Now, when you run this code, it's going to give you an error because there is a bunch of files already inside of this folder. What we need to do is retype this code by adding a redo. This time, it's going to overwrite and replace all of the files that are already in this folder. As you can see, it's done. What we need to do now is we can close the terminal screen. As you can see, we have a bunch of files now. We're going to focus on this one. This is the file we're going to take you to, Fig Tree. Let's go to the second part of this video.